Single-sided swing arms are a bit of a rarity in the motorcycle world. Only a handful of bikes feature one and usually they are exotic and expensive, with very few exceptions for that rule. Some have converted their double-sided swing arms to single-sided swing arms, but usually at the cost of weight and a huge price. Well today we are going to go over what single-sided swing arms are and why they are so important and the reason why I want every single bike that I own to have one. So a single side swing arm is exactly as it sounds. There's only one side of the bike that attaches to the rear wheel, giving you access to seeing the entire rear wheel on the other side with no swing arm distorting your view. You have to admit, it looks fantastic. Single sided swing arms have many advantages besides looking amazing. One of these advantages is rear wheel removal. In order to remove a rear wheel off a standard swing arm, the process involves removing the axle bolt, sliding out the axle, removing the chain off the sprocket, your spacers and cush hub pieces falling everywhere, and finally your rear wheel is off. Usually it takes about 10 to 15 minutes depending on how quick you are and experienced. Now a single side swing arm takes about 2 minutes max. It's as simple as removing four lug nuts on the VFR and off comes the wheel, just like a car. And some manufacturers offer only one large bolt and the wheel is off, making the process even simpler, even though it may require a special socket. Now removal of the wheel is nice, but my favorite benefit of the single side swing arm is that you no longer have to align the chain with those stupid adjusters. All you have to do is loosen or tighten the chain and that's it. No matter what, the rear wheel is always straight. Now just like everything in life, there are cons and the single side swing arm is no exception. However, single side swing arms only have one real con and that's cost. They are much more difficult to design and create, which is why most manufacturers simply stick to a traditional swing arm on the bike. Now before I get attacked in the comments, let me take a minute to dispel some of the myths about single sided swing arms. The first myth is that you always hear is that they are heavier than traditional swing arms. Now I did mention earlier that converting your traditional swing arm to a single sided swing arm will result in a weight gain. Well the reason why I said that is because when you are adding an aftermarket swing arm you always want to get something that's overkill for your bike to ensure that there are no catastrophic failures while overkill swing arms weigh a lot more than a standard swing arm. For instance, I know some people put a VFR swing arm on sport bikes. That's a swing arm designed for a 530 pound bike onto a 400 pound bike. Of course the swing arm is going to be heavier than the traditional one. From the factory, swing arms are designed exactly for the bike with the correct weight. Not all the time they are lighter than standard options even from the factory, but there are many examples of lighter swing arms. Just look at Ducati, which is some of the lightest bikes in the world for their engine size. And they almost always use single sided swing arms. Now the second myth is reliability. People are afraid of single sided swing arms failing, thanks to videos like this one here. While this video showed the wheel failing, not the swing arm, I did research on the video and it appears the guy was running a non-OEM wheel, and I've heard stories of Chinese wheels breaking off traditional swing arms as well. So as long as you stick to OEM, then you should be just fine. Anyway guys, that's why single side swing arms are the best. Thank you for watching.